National Gun Violence Awareness Day and Wear Orange Weekend come after the killing of a young African-American teenager, Hadia Pendleton. Hadia was killed in a playground in Chicago by a firearm. And so her childhood friends decided to commemorate her life by wearing orange, the color hunters wear in the woods to protect themselves and others. Where orange began on June 2nd, 2015, what would have been Hadiyah's 18th birthday. Since then, Where Orange has expanded to a three-day period each year. Where Orange this year will take place from June 3rd through June 5th, 2022. And so, as a diocese, we want to take this opportunity to join others across the nation and the church in calling for an end to gun violence. Join us as we pray for all the victims of gun violence, especially the victims in Buffalo, New York, and Uvalde, Texas. Join us as we pledge to use our voice and our privileges to end gun violence. And join us as we prepare ourselves for action. Our hearts are broken and our souls continue to cry out. Lord, have mercy. On May 14, 2022, a white supremacist murdered 10 people and wounded three others in Topps Friendly Market in Buffalo, New York. Less than two weeks later, in Uvalde, Texas, a gunman opened fire on an elementary school, killing 21 people, 19 of them children, fourth graders, the reality is heartbreaking. And as the body of Christ, the people who vow to uphold the dignity of every individual, we must stand with the most vulnerable in our communities. And as we stand, we must join in the work of becoming the beloved community. We must speak up and show up with radical Jesus love. Jesus love that is clear. No more. We will not tolerate this in our communities, nor in our churches. And so I, alongside the Racial Justice and Reconciliation Task Force, invite all leaders, all members of the Diocese of Bethlehem to join me in standing up for the most vulnerable, to use our voices, our privilege, all that we have to end this cycle of violence and hatred in our nation and our communities. This Sunday, June 5th, I invite you to wear orange. Orange is the color associated with gun violence prevention. Make this day a day of remembrance and a day to advocate, to act. Oh God, on the day of Pentecost, you taught the hearts of your faithful by sending them the light of your Holy Spirit. Give us right judgment in all things and transform us into bearers of living and life-changing justice. Know of my love as you reach out in love. The thought of leaving my parents home in the morning, um, thinking it's a regular day of school and having a slight possibility of not coming back because of gun violence and a school shooting, um, makes me uncomfortable and um, very nervous. Um, I think it's something that needs to be controlled and figured out immediately before it strings into like a whole nother chain of problems. I personally am just so tired of looking at the news and seeing that a school, that, that children are dying because someone has gotten their hands on a, a, a gun. I think that it is very important that the schools, um, because this is happening so often, that they have a strategic plan on what to do if this happens at their school, so that if it does, parents know that their children will at least have, um, be in some way safe, even though it's still a very dangerous situation. I will advocate for the reduction of guns in America and help others understand that owning a firearm makes you 
your family and those around you less safe in almost every way that can be measured. I commit myself to rejecting violence of any kind, and I pledge to use my voice and privilege to end gun violence. I reject violence of any kind, and I commit myself to using my voice and my privilege to end gun violence. I commit myself to rejecting violence of any kind, and I pledge to use my privilege to end gun violence. I commit myself to rejecting violence of any kind, and I pledge to use my voice and privilege to end gun violence. I commit myself to rejecting gun violence of any kind, and I pledge to use my privilege to end gun violence. Yo me comprometo rechazar la violencia de cualquier tipo, y prometo usar mi voz y mis privilegios para que cese la violencia con armas de fuego. I commit myself to rejecting violence of any kind, and I pledge to use my privilege to end gun violence. I commit myself to rejecting violence of any kind, and I pledge to use my voice and privilege to end gun violence. I commit myself to rejecting violence of any kind, and I pledge to use my voice and privilege to end gun violence. I commit myself to rejecting violence of any kind, and I pledge to use my voice and privilege to end gun violence. I commit myself to rejecting violence of any kind, and I pledge to use my voice and privilege to end gun violence. I commit to rejecting violence of any kind and further pledge my voice and my privilege to end gun violence. I commit myself to rejecting violence of any kind and I pledge to use my voice and privilege to end gun violence. I commit myself to rejecting violence of any kind, and I pledge to use my voice to end gun violence.